Hello Maths fans and welcome to this tutorial on converting between fractions, decimals and percentages. So with those uh, three forms of number, uh, there are six different conversions that you might uh, be asked to make. Uh, fraction to decimal, fraction to percentage, decimal to fraction, decimal to percentage, and percentage to fraction, percentage to decimal. So I'm going to very quickly go through an example for each of these and uh, you can obviously pause this, write it down uh, and try it on your own, but this is a quick run through of each of those six conversions. So the first one, uh, from a fraction to a decimal. Now if you have a calculator, this is dead easy, you're just going to do 3 divided by 25. 3 divided by 25. Uh, type it in your calculator. That line means divide in a fraction. Uh, 3 divided by 25, that's it. And you should find out that you get 0 0.12. Uh, now, if you don't have a calculator, there are a couple of ways to do this. You can either make it a fraction uh, over 10, or 100, or 1,000, or any power of 10. So in this case, 3 over 25, I can see that I can multiply the top and the bottom by 4 to get me to 12 over 100. Now, hopefully you recognise that hundredths uh, are in the decimals. We've got units, then a decimal point, then tenths, then hundredths. So if I've got 12 hundredths, that is the decimal 0 0.12. Okay? You might also uh, decide that you want to do the 3 divided by 25 with short division as you like. But hopefully you've got a calculator and you can just type in 3 divided by 25. Okay, second one, uh, looking at fraction to a percentage now. Well, uh, it's very very similar to the first one, and then we multiply by 100. So first of all, change it to a decimal. So as we did here, we're going to do 7, that line means divide, 7 divided by 8, uh, and then multiply by 100. Okay. And in this case, we get to 0 0.875. Uh, if you didn't have a calculator, you're going to go the long way or use short division. But basically, go to the decimal first and then go to the percentage. Would be my advice. Number three, converting 0 0.56, a decimal, to a fraction. Well, decimal to fraction... That's where we're going to need our knowledge of those sort of column headings. Tenths, hundredths, there's the decimal point, then we've got units, tens, and down here we've got thousandths. So tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Knowing those makes it quite easy to convert uh, to a fraction. So if this is 0 0.56, the 6 is in the hundredths column, so I can say that I've got 56 over 100. Now, your calculator again can do uh, these conversions uh, in many different ways. Let's assume we haven't got one and let's simplify this. Let's divide the top by 2 and we get 25, 26, 27, 28 over 50. By dividing by 2 on the top and the bottom, let's do it again and I get 14 over 25. And I don't think there's a number I can divide the top and the bottom by that. So 14 over 25. Next one, let's go to converting 0.23 to a percentage. Well, this is probably the easiest. Times by 100. Decimal to percentage times by 100, and we get 23%. Simple. The digits all move to the left two places. On we go, percentage to a fraction, well, percent, you can see it almost looks like a divide by 100 sign. And so that's what we do. We say 45 over 100. And then you might just need to tidy up by simplifying. And I'm going to simplify this one by dividing by 5 on the top and 5 on the bottom. And I get 9 over 20. And that's my simplified fraction. So just remember that that percent means divide by 100. Divide by 100. Right. Final one, let's convert 81% uh, to a decimal. Well, 81% as a decimal, we're just going to 
divide by 100. So we go 81 divided by 100 is 0 0.81. 0 0.81. And that is a very quick rundown of the six conversions between uh, fractions, decimals, percentages. I would say one of the key things to recognize is the equivalence here with the fractions, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. That's what the decimal system is about, tens, hundreds, thousands. Okay? Um, give it a go, give it some practice. Thanks for watching.